Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. We are doing another tour, and I'm really excited, as always. I need to I need to have something else, but I am. I'm always excited. Like, I love seeing these. That being said, I love when people send me suggestions, send me islands, and this is one of them. Today, we get to visit the island of Hatteras, and we all know I love a city island, and that is exactly what this is with like a bazillion main houses all done up, lots of roadways, cityways, shops. I'm excited. I love city islands. Let's go ahead and take a look at our map. So clearly, massive a waterway right through the center of the island. And seven that I can count main houses, like seven big houses, two set residential areas, um, a lot going on here. Let's take a look at all of our residents. We have Diana, there's Fauna, Sky, Ketchup, there's Lily, Gala, Daisy, Olive, there's Cookie, and Poppy, and of course all of our main residents living on the island. And of course, the dream address is down at the bottom. So if you want to come and explore this with me, amazing. Type it in. Let's go. You can also save it for another time. Of course, it will be in the description. Now with this island, this is the first one I've done in a while where I don't have the creator's actual information. So if anybody knows it, please let me know so that we can give them the credit that they deserve for this amazing island. Now, with that being said, let's head into Hatteras. We come out of the airport and look at the little lights with the little hearts on them. It's just the cutest. Lots of waterways, lots of roadways. I don't even know which way to start. So I think we're just going to go. We're going to go to the right and then we're just going to work our way around this city. But look at the roads and the gardens like it's absolutely beautiful. The first main house now this is a gas station clearly of the cars i love that there's cars exiting there's cars entering i'm wondering if the house has anything to do with the actual gas station but we're not going to know until we go inside and say hello oh i love this right away i'm super happy because it is clearly Part of the gas station convenience store. There's tons of shelves, products, and TVs. I love the details. Too good. Oh, this is the office. Oh, this is a kind of a high tech office space for a gas station. I like it. They're messy. There's just papers everywhere on the floor. They've got their little dart game. Look at the cameras, though. Like, this is some serious security. I love it. Okay, we have clearly an employee's washroom. This is not for the general public. There's some garbage in places. There's some storage in the bag. I love... This is like the quintessential gas station bathroom. The break room. I was literally thinking to myself two seconds ago, how can you con or continue like this gas station theme in a big house? And that's exactly how they've got a break room. You got the vending machines, the table set up, the microwave, the the fridge in the corner, the shelving. I love it. Oh, the little lockers. So when you're working, you can lock up your stuff. That's so cute. Upstairs, it's a pharmacy. They have a pharmacy above the gas station. Like, talk about one-stop shopping. You can come in for gas. You can get all your munchables and things you need downstairs. Head upstairs, grab your prescription. You're good to go. Look at the little doctor coat hanging on the wall. Oh, that's too much. There is more shopping down. Oh, they've got like actual, you can get like hot gas station food here. It's 
Thanksgiving very much 7-Eleven. You got the slushy machine in the back. You've got the hot food section over here. You can buy your groceries that you need. This is phenomenal. What an amazing start to our tour. I love it. We And we have an island resident. We have Dawn. Welcome to Haddis Hotel. Oh, there's a hotel somewhere? Okay. Now I'm getting all excited. That's all right. I'm not trying to push you. We're coming into one of the little residential cul-de-sacs. Now, I'm pretty sure the information I was given on this island said that the villager houses were left as is. So we will check one really quickly just to make sure. But our focus is on the main houses because there's so many of them. But let's go inside and say hello anyway. Definitely as they came, but... As we have said before, there's never anything wrong with that because they love the stuff that they brought with them. It's their stuff. All right. I love the little cul-de-sac. I love... See, there's something about this. It's definitely a city style island. It's got the roadways and stuff, but it's very much giving like suburban, like safe neighborhood if you will. Just look at these quaint little yards. All right, we're going through somebody's backyard and it's bringing us to fishing. There is, look at how, it's so natural right here. Oh, they've got camping. Can I get down there? Oh, look at, I love these little, I love the standees and I love the little trailer, um, design that people can get because they're just they're so cute looking and that one looks like an old retro almost like a vw van you've got the dog in the back seat they're all on the beach hanging out i love it back on to the main part of the island and this is the actual campsite so that makes sense as to why it's a little more natural right here this is the camping area so if you are a little adventurous, you can venture outside of the residential areas and head out and get some nature. Oh, this is pretty. Their path work is just so pretty. Go through the orchard and this brings you to the museum, which is again, fitting for an island like this, staying in its big form because it is, it's a city after all. This is Tori. Welcome to Hatter's Eatery. There's an eatery. There are so many houses and things that we need to explore, and I'm so excited to do so. Oh, I love that this is like an extension of the museum out here. You've got fossils, got treasure, you've got old boats, pirate stuff. Oh, that's so cool. It's like an outdoor exhibit onto the beach. All right, back into Hatteras. We're walking through. Oh, we've got the store. We have Able Sisters tucked in here, so we do have some shopping. Look at the, even just the little buggy on the sidewalk. It just says, quaint little neighborhood, quiet little place. Oh, we have another main house. I'm so excited. How do I get through here? Can I get through? Oh, it, is it up top? I kind of cut through. Oh, it's... What is this? Is this like a point of view from some way? I think it is. Look at the grates. <gasps> this is so pretty. And I'm wondering if we can see it. Cause I just like got super excited and kind of broke in. I believe we, Don, we already talked to you, the hotel. I'm wondering if we can see this from the other side, but it gives you a view of all of these, what I'm going to say are shops. They all look like shops. They have signs in front of them. But I love the colors and the builds and the layering. That's so pretty. There are a bunch of stairs here. So we have some indoor exploring to do. So let's go up the stairs and we'll start way at the back here and work our way down through the main houses. Now this has desserts in front of it and baked bread. So I'm wondering if this is a bakery. We're not gonna know until we go inside. It 
It's a theater. I was not expecting that whatsoever. There's a fountain in the theater. But yeah, there's concession stands and popcorn and you can get your tickets. You've got the menus in behind. Okay, I'm intrigued. And then you have the actual theater. I love the chairs. It's like a fancy theater. Oh, the, the posters on the wall. You've got the cameras up high so that it looks like it's actually projecting onto the screen. And then you have the movie playing. Oh, this is good. You can't have a movie theater without an arcade. And this does not disappoint. I lo Look at all the different games that they have on. Then you've got all the claw machines. I'm like, I'm great at these ones because in Animal Crossing I never lose. And that's phenomenal. But in real claw machines, no luck whatsoever. You've got the vending machines. I love the Mario wall for this. So perfect. Is this like a toy store or like, yeah, maybe that's why there was the dollhouse in the display as you were coming in. So it's like a little toy shop in the, the side of the theater. Okay. And upstairs is a record store. I love that this, like, I can smell this room. Like, if you know, you know the smell of old records and albums, and that's exactly what this place looks like. It smells like, if that makes sense. And then downstairs, if you don't like all the loud from the theater, the toy store, the arcade, the record shop, you can just come downstairs, and it's just a quaint quiet little library bookshop where you can just relax and read a book. Maybe if you're a parent and you're just leaving your kids up there to do the movie thing, you can come down here and you can just breathe for a minute. Okay, first in our row of houses. Very surprised. Very not disappointed. <laughs> the houses are fantastic on this island, so I don't know. This one... I was thrown off by the other one. The other one had the bakery stuff in front of it. And I was like, for sure, that's a bakery. This has clothing in front of it. Clothing shop, maybe? I, maybe, I don't know. And we're not going to know till we go inside. Clearly not a clothing store. Am I disappointed? No. Is it a sushi bar? Yes. Is it beautiful? Absolutely. So pretty, actually. The walls, the decorations, the lighting, the tables, the bars. Like, it's so pretty. I wonder if I can sneak around and get to the back room. Oh! This is, like, a little more... Private. Oh, I love the way they did that. It looks like an aquarium in the bag. This feels like it's a more like a seafoody type restaurant, but definitely more of like private seating back here. And then if the whole fancy sushi scene or like the little private eatery in the back is not your scene and you're looking for a like family friendly diner this is the restaurant part for you so this is like one of those group restaurants that you go to where you can choose like a million different things and i love that i love the diner it's one of the first things that i ever decorated a house with because again i am obsessed with the game that i i'm not a decorator like I try to make it work, but this is one of the first ones I did because I feel like with the diner items, you can't mess that up. They, they literally lay it out there for you, and I love it. I love the diner stuff. Then after the diner or the sushi or whatever, and you've got a sweet tooth, 
you come over here and you get ice cream at the ice cream parlor. And I love the little treats on the table. The little high chairs everywhere are a cute addition. I love these. The restaurant style trays where you can throw at your garbage. They've got the little takeout trays with you. They're just so cute and so realistic looking. I love it. Oh, this is fancy dining upstairs. This is like nighttime, fancy, expensive restaurant. Look at that view. Look at the floors. Look at the tables. There's nothing I don't like about this house. I love all the different styles of restaurants that we're seeing. This is so cool. And you can't run any restaurants without a kitchen. And we have a kitchen set up here. And look at all the tables and look at all the different food and the fryers and the stoves oh and then you've got the boards up top where the orders are coming in i don't even know what that's called pos system maybe love it okay we've been into shop number two and again not at all disappointed we have a third one it's got again a bakery sign out front there's also a barber pole. So, I mean, they could just be in correspondence to the other stores down below. I like that, though, because I don't know exactly what we're about to go into. And we're about to find out. Oh, this is a salon. As soon as you come in, you know what you're walking in. It's, the music is so peaceful. It's so calming. Look at the chairs. We have the little wash basin so you can get your hair done. Over here. Oh, that's just the wash station. Then you move over here to the actual cutting stations. Look at the pictures on the walls. I love this. Got the washrooms in the back. And look at how pretty. It's very simple, but very pretty. You've got the changing rooms. You've got the actual washroom stalls where you can wash your hands. Very cute. This makes sense to me. I was literally, as I was coming through here, and you know how the screen goes black and you're kind of waiting, I was like, it would make sense to have a clothing store or some sort of boutique by the salon, and they did not disappoint. That's exactly what's here. Oh, look at the little custom shirt. I love when people do little touches like that, because obviously the game comes with a bazillion clothes and items, so I love when you do little custom things. It just makes it a little more personalized. Same thing. Another little boutique type store. It's almost a little fancy over on the side. You got the purses. I love the bags hanging on the wall. This is like a lot of accessories of shoes the clothes this is fancy though this is a fancy boutique upstairs this is more of like is this a tattoo parlor at first i was like maybe it's like a barbershop and then i saw the beds and then i saw like the equipment on here and then the pictures on the walls this is 100% oh it says tattoo on the shirt hanging on the wall yes 100% this is a tattoo parlor that's amazing and another oh this is a nail salon I was like what are we going for here I look okay they use the little I'm just gonna call them sinks we know they're not but we're going to call them sinks for the little foot baths over here where you're getting your feet soaked and then getting your nails done. Oh, this is too good. This might be my favorite house so far. Okay, we are back outside. The ho the this row of houses was amazing. Then we come down the stairs and... We're in a parking lot of a Target. I love that. You can go get your hair done. You can go to the fancy boutiques. Or if you're like budget shopping, head to Target. 
Not that Target's a budget. I know that when we had Target here, yes, are the prices good? Absolutely. But do you go in there and buy a hundred more things than you absolutely need? Yes, you do. Every single time you go in for one thing, you're coming out with bags. It was very dangerous. I'm almost like I'm sad that we don't have them anymore. But at the same time, I'm kind of glad because, yeah, it, it got to be expensive. But I love store builds. I love... I've seen other targets before. This one's done really well. I love the masks out front, like the little balls that they have. I love the displays. Ooh, there's a sale, 50% off. That's how they get you in. They get you in with the sales, and then you buy $500 worth of stuff. The carts all lined up, the target carts. Then you've got the sign. Oh, and this is where we were in behind the houses when I got really excited. Um, because I saw the mass amount of houses. So if I had continued along my merry way, we would have made it to Target. I do see a path down here, so I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, this is like a, a biking trail, maybe? Like a biker's path? Hiking trail down by the water? I love how many different elements there are to this island. Oh, and then it takes you... In behind the Target where they're doing all the deliveries and the drop-offs. That's a crazy amount of detail to add. Right down to the stripes on the pavement where they're stopping to do the offloading of the inventory. That's crazy. I love detailed islands. This is amazing. I love the Target. Now I want to go shopping. So cute. Perfect little parking lot. Then, I don't know what direction to go. Should we? Yeah, we'll go this way and we'll work our way through the center and then make our way to the other side. This island feels humongous. I don't know if it's because of all of the main houses that there are and there are a bunch, but this island seems humongous. Speaking of a main house, we are at resident service, re resident, if I could speak, resident services, and we've come to another one and another island rep. We have Autumn. Welcome to Hatteras School. Of course, there's a school. There's so many different things, and I'm wondering, is this a school? I don't know. It's very pretty. It's very, like, the gardens are beautiful. Not going to know until we go inside, though. Definitely not a school. This is a bank. And look, okay, look at the bank teller. This little monocle on. Welcome to the bank of Hatteras. Yes, I knew that as soon as we came in. Look at the bars on the back. Too good. They've got the little ATMs there. The bag of money. Love it. Okay, this is one of those back room bank offices when you are talking mortgage you are talking mass loan maybe you're trying to get a business loan this is the rooms they bring you to it's a little intimidating oh a little coffee shop off the bank i kind of love that because some days banks are crazy busy Sometimes you have an appointment, but that appointment's not on time, and then you're just sitting there bored. No. Come over to the coffee shop. Get something to eat. Have a sit down, have a cup of coffee, then head back out into the bank. Oh, upstairs. This is like where you have like vaulted boxes and stuff, where you have lock boxes. Where you keep all your important things. You come up here and you put them in there. But look at what the people are dropping off. We got gold bars, stacks of money, jewelry. God. Like priceless art and artifacts in the bag. That's what people are putting in this, this locked storage area. Or safe area, if you will. What is that? Okay. So, like, don't try to rob the bank or do anything. This is giving, like, mafia vibes, and I don't know why. You've got the jail cell over here, but I don't know. There's something about the hat hanging up, and then you've got the table with the chairs and the knives on it. 
is unsettling. Okay, so the poor people at the bank and the coffee shop not knowing what's going on directly below them. Unexpected. Now we have to head into resident services because we have to go in behind to again another beautifully decorated yard and up to another main house and I try to read the air oh you can get a view of all those other houses oh and you can see the people walking up and using the shops that's so good you've got little poppy walking around down below oh I love that Anyway, I try to get a read on what the house might be based fully on the area around it. What is this? I know I'm going into the main house, but... Look at the waterways and the big long... Oh, okay. We literally passed by this at the beginning of our tour. Okay. Literally when you come out of the airport. So if you don't go around the long way to check everything out and you just want to head back, you just go along this bridge. Back to what I was saying, I try to guess what's in the house based on the yard that's around it, but so far, none of that has been exactly what I thought it would be. So I want to say this one might be the school, but we will find out when we go inside. Not a school. Is this the... This is the hotel! Yes! This is the hotel. You come in, they've got the visitor sign, they've got the chairs. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, this is either like the fanciest school I've ever seen, or... But then I saw the welcome and the bag. It's a hotel for sure. Oh, look at the rooms. This is cozy. I like the furniture, the beds. I love the effects in the room. This is the first house I think we've been in that has a lot of the effects used. So other than like sounds, but this is really cool. I love how every room is themed. This is like a beachy room and you can walk out right onto the water. You've got your own little deck in the back. This is the room I'd want. Big, bright windows. You can see the water. You can sit out on the sand. So perfect. It's like a vacation in here. And again, another beautifully decorated room. Another beachside view. This one, actually, I might take over the other one. I don't know. There's something about the elegance in this room, but then you still got that beachy feeling. This might be my favorite room. Okay, this is like the fancy, expensive suite upstairs. You've got the piano, the bar. Look at the view of the city, the beds. The lounge area. This is definitely an expensive room. And there's a spa at the hotel. I love the flooring. I love the water. Like the look through. Glass floor looking into the water. You've got the showers. The washrooms. The soaking tub. You've got the massage tables. Love everything about this hotel. 100% this is a city you want to visit. There's just so much going on. Look at the main courtyard when you come out of resident services, right? When you wake up from your nap, like how pretty is this? So pretty. And you walk the streets and you have a Starbucks. I love that. I love store builds. They make me so excited. I'm obsessed about the houses because I love houses that are built into things. But there is something about the creativity and the layering and the making of storefronts that just, oh, it just gets me so excited. And this is so cute. This is like perfect. When I think city, 
this is this is the view I'm thinking. That is so perfect. I don't know if I should go up because we were up. If I should go over the bridges. There's just a lot to see. Now we've been to the bank. The bank's a little sketchy. There is some stuff going on down there. Then there's a bridge back here, but where does the bridge take you? The bridge takes you to Target, so we're just gonna continue following these beautiful roadways. Sorry. And around and we'll go up and then down because we've got more residents to say hello to. Welcome to Hatteras Salon. We were there and I loved it. Loved every second of it. Oh, and this is where Target exits and it brings us to another residential area. And another little cul-de-sac. I love the way the villager houses are set up. It's just so homey. Like it's comforting. I would want to I would want to live here. You have this comfortable feeling of like this very safe neighborhood and yet you have accessibility to so many different shops and stores and salons and movie theaters and coffee places like it's sketchy bank it's amazing but we have more residents welcome to hatteras grocers we were there is that the walmart vest do they have a walmart she is clearly wearing... That is like a very noticeable sign. And this resident, she kind of looks like a doctor. The school, a teacher. Welcome to Hatteras School. Yeah, we haven't found the school yet. I love the residential area, though. Again, it's just such a safe, quaint environment to live in. And I'm going to say... There's a villager home up top. Is that the school? Or is there a main house at the school? Because clearly, no, I think it's a main house. Because clearly this is a school yard. In and behind. So I'm wondering if we go around these beautiful streets. And past the traffic. We're literally running through traffic. And to the front, yes, this has to be the school. Look at how big they made the school. I love that. They've built it right out. Seem like this big, huge school. And that's amazing. Let's go inside. Right when you come in, lockers, always benches, chairs. They've got the little, I love the little pennants on the walls. They've got the paper garlands up top. I can't quite get a view on it, but it's there. Very much so, the school. We have a classroom, and it's just calm and quiet. Look at the little classes, which is so much nicer. A little more one-on-one -on -one attention. Everybody's learning. Amazing. This is the art class. Got the clay everywhere, the paintings. Art class was like my favorite. All through public school, whenever it was art time. Can you just like smell those paints that they gave you and they would like glob it onto a plate and then just give you a paintbrush and you just went to town? I miss, I miss public school. You have Science class. Got all the experiments. You've got all the jars of weird things that they always had in a science classroom. Never knew what it was, but there were always these jars filled with random stuff. Music class upstairs. All the instruments. Oh, look at the awards. They're doing great in the music class. I love the lights, the curtains. This feels so accurate. It's amazing. And downstairs is a gymnasium. I was literally thinking two seconds ago that I've never actually come across a gymnasium before. And this is amazing. Like there's always outside playgrounds. There's maybe a basketball court, something, but an indoor gymnasium. I love it. Hmm? 
Now I want to move here even more. There's beautiful neighborhoods, easy access to shopping and amenities. There is a beautiful school. Like what, what else could you want? So pretty. What is this? Oh, the music on the beach. Simple beaches on this island. Um, and I expect... I literally expect that on an island that has so much detail going into the rest of the island. Like, look, just look at the view of the school. So pretty. What is this? Is there like some sort of festival or something going on? Because there's all sorts of fish and then there's signs and balloons. Is it like a special occasion? Is it maybe something to do with this blue house that's down by the beach that's surrounded by fish? Who knows? <laughs> but I think this is the last main house. So let's go inside and check it out. This one is a work in progress. If it is some sort of festival or something going on, it looks like they are just getting set up. So we will let them do that. And we're back outside, past all the boats and the busyness down by the beach, back onto the streets and over the bridges. Back past Starbucks. I love the Starbucks build. And coming in to where we started our tour. And it was an amazing tour. I love cities. And this one was so much fun with all of the houses. There is a lot to take in. Like, it feels like it's bigger than the island is. Just because there's so much going on. But I'd highly recommend you come and check it out walk through the houses see all the details check out the roads it's an amazing island and they put so much work into it really good job again i'm gonna end my tour here i want to thank you guys though so much for spending this time with me exploring checking it all out if you had as much fun as i did don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and thank you guys you know how much i appreciate your shares your likes your comments it's so much it's overwhelming it's amazing thank you and as always you know i'm gonna be back with more animal crossing videos